guys, it's Kyle. Come back to my channel. I'm freaking excited. This look came out fire. Like, if I do say so myself, like, it came out. Quarantine got me in a play with makeup. What do you guys think? So, as you guys can guess it already, in this video, I am going to be doing this look for you guys. It's going to be a voiceover because you guys know I like to get in my zone. If you guys are interested in how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell button as well, and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's jump straight into this video. Hey guys, so I'm going to start this tutorial using my Primark Glow Primer. I'm just going to drop this on my face little drip drop and then wet that right into my skin then i'm gonna go in with my good money heels primer add that bad boy on my face too and then wet that into my skin using circular motion just to wet that into my skin and then i'm gonna go in with my morphe continuous mist i'm just gonna spray that bad boy all over my face oh yes so for foundation today i am using my elf foundation and i'm mixing that in with my kat von d foundation i did use a lot a lot of foundation in this video um more than i needed but we fixed it at the end i just blend that and using my fantasy planet brush this combo was nice it was my first time trying this two combo together it was nice it was it was decent so to highlight my face today i am using my morphe concealer and i'm just gonna highlight my usual areas my underarm my nose my chin just about my lip but not my forehead because maybe i'll be getting large forehead so now i'm just going in with my beauty blender uh, no my real technique beauty sponge and i'm just blending that right in and then you guys already know the drill i'm gonna go with my foundation brush again and just blend out the edges because i'm not cream contouring today so now i'm just going in and setting my highlighted areas using my makeup session pure bake powder this powder honestly guys this powder is the bomb like i love it I can't lie to you guys it's really good and it's so cheap so to set the rest of my face i'm using my mac studio fix powder in the shade nw50 and nw58 um i don't know why i had to think about that but yeah i'm just blending that in so today guys i am not contouring i am just going to bronze up my skin and leave it as that and i'm using my fenty beauty mocha mammy bronzer and i'm just going to use that to bronze my cheeks even though it's a little bit pink so now I'm just going to move on to the eyes and I'm using my Morphe Eyelid Primer just to prime my eyelids so that all my eyeshadow will pop because you know we were like popping eyeshadows over here. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is my Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. I'm going to grab the purple shade I'm just going to wet that right into my crease and my outer corner. Packing that shade on on both of my eyelids. Now I'm going to grab these two shades and I'm going to use that as my transition colour today. Um, working that in as you guys can see what I'm doing. I did go back and forth with the purple shade and the two shades um, Just because you know when you're blending you tend to lose color. So That's why I'm going back in with my purple packing it on and then adding more just building up the colors basically Just building up colors you guys can build the colors as much as you want, you know, like Then no rule to make up if you're gonna pack it on pack it on um, I really wanted the purple to stand out, that's why I kept packing on as well. So, yeah. So now I'm just going in to cut my crease. You guys know that I love cut crease. I'm going to try to do a hello eye next, just because I feel like you guys might be bored of that, you know, half cut crease. But honestly, guys, this is the thing that works best for my eye shape. Like, half cut crease works best for my eye shape. But I'm going to try to do more different type of cut crease for you guys. So I'm not, like, predictable in a way, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so yeah, I'm just grabbing a flat brush, grabbing a concealer, cutting my crease and I'm blending the edges using my ring finger, nothing new. And now I'm just adding the purple shade again to my outer corners. So now I grab a gold, no, a champagne gold um, pigment. I believe it's from Primark, if not, it will be down below. Placing that in my inner third. And now I'm going to mix this two pink and orange shade. I'm going to place that on the rest of my cut crease but you can see what i'm doing anyway i'm just packing that color on oh yeah a little tip when you're mixing shimmer and mattes together you want to use your finger to like melt the two shades together so there's no like harsh lines if you don't melt it together you guys will see where the shimmer and the matte started but if you use a finger it will give it like a nice melted look going in and dusting off my powder 
as you guys know, I can't bake for too long, or else I'll turn into a desert. <laughs> so moving back onto the eyes, I'm gonna grab this green. I'm just gonna place that all over my lower lash line just to make my eyes pop. I was so nervous to add this green, but I'm glad I did. So I'm just going in with that orange shade. I'm just blending it in both the green so it's not as harsh, but um, yeah. So now I'm just adding some mascara to my lashes. I'm prepping it for my false lashes. And then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face using my Morphe Set and Miss. Oh, this part, I wouldn't recommend you guys doing it because it's not safe. I'm using purple paint in my waterline. I would recommend you guys doing it so no one can hold me accountable. But um, I'm just doing it because, I don't know, I'm an idiot. So <laughs> don't do it, don't do what I do. Use an actual purple eyeliner. So I'm just adding my lashes, placing those bad boys on. For my inner corners, I am going into another Juvia's Place palette. I'm literally just grabbing this pink shade and just placing that right in my inner corners. That's the only reason why I went into that palette, just to grab this pink shade. And then I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face. I don't know what I highlighted with, but I guess I'm always just highlight with whatever um, highlighter you guys like, honestly. So moving on to my lips, I am grabbing the Makeup Session All Purpose Stick. You guys know that this is my ride or die, honestly, in my makeup kit. And then for my lips today, I am using my NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Abu Dhabi and my Kika Milano Hydra lip gloss and I'll put the shade of that down below. Oh, I did go with a clear lip gloss on top of that just because I want it to be more shiny, more popping and that completes this look. So this is the end of the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, because you know what to do, give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like the video so I can create more videos like this for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe, stay indoors and help the NHS as well. Uh, yeah. And hopefully Miss Corona will leave us alone soon so that we can actually, you know, so I can actually enjoy wearing this makeup out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Inshallah. Bye guys!